Mm. Well, put that seatbelt on. We're getting in the car this morning and going on a road trip to yet another of South Carolina's best kept secrets this week. Heading to the coast. You ready? Yeah, let's oh, go. Oh, that's right. To <laughs> Today we are headed to Old Town Bluffton, one of my favorite towns yeah. in South Carolina. Such a neat place. Now this is an historic town that you get to just before you reach Hilton Head. It's a small town treasure that is a must visit, blending trendy with traditional. Welcome to Old Town Bluff in a beautiful small town draped in mossy oaks, inviting you to come experience its past and its present. At every turn, Old Town Bluffton has a welcome waiting for you. Stroll the historic downtown streets and you'll find stops that are one of a kind. You have places here that are just, mm, they're just to die for. Lilith is a local artist. She moved here six years ago and fell in love with the location. And that's made out of glass? It's made out of glass. Lilith's handmade glass jewelry is on display and for sale inside one of Bluffton's many art galleries. This gallery has a photography exhibit featured this month. Tourists say they like the little bit of hip that infuses this artsy town. It's an old town feeling that's like, oh, comfortable. Okay, and the big trees are coming down. Those oak trees shade the downtown streets where you'll find the galleries, restaurants, and shopping. I love this little boutique. But despite the cool side of Bluffton, don't let it fool you. This town has deep roots dating back hundreds of years. Off the main road, Bluffton's history comes alive. For example, this home, the Hayward House, one of Bluffton's original homes. Now, a history museum. Hayward House was built in 1841 by a planter whose city home was in Beaufort. His plantation was across the river on what is now Palmetto Bluff, and this was a summer cottage built for his family. Maureen Richards so says homes like these put Bluffton on the map in the 1800s. The summer cottages once belonged to wealthy families that wanted to escape the heat and move near the cool winds coming off the bluffs of the May River. Those cool afternoon winds still blow in today, a lot like the tourists who stop to enjoy its simple beauty. But the core of Old Town is history, arts, and culture. And it's a great little walkable community. Very few people will ever see this part of Bluffton's history. I was granted permission to come on private property to see this. It's called the Succession Oak. Back in 1844, a group of South Carolinians came here and rallied, and it was one of the first mentions of succession. And that's why they call it the Succession Oak. Back in downtown, the day would not be complete without a bite to eat. And at the cottage, there's a special offering to its daily menu, afternoon tea. It offers dozens of teas, desserts to die for, all set in this city, sweet as pie. And it's a perfect day trip to, you know, walk around Old Town, see the galleries and little unique shops in Old Town. It is beautiful, charming, and eccentric. So are the people who live here. Most of the merchants have brochures making suggestions on places to visit. My favorite is this one that has a 25-stop walking tour. Just be sure to bring your appetite for some great food and shopping and a heaping helping of history served right here in this town that's just a little off the beaten path. In Old Town Bluffton, Hannah Horn, WIS News 10. Judging by those signs you're standing beside, lots to lots see and do there. Do. But you didn't get a chance to, to show us. Oh, so. I needed just a couple more days. Just yeah. a couple more days. Just two more. <laughs> well, speaking, if you're going to, you want to go back to that area, we are giving away a great weekend package, and you could very well just include. Old Town Bluffton in this. Weston Resort and Spa, two nights there. Just text Jim, G E M, to 80310. You can enter once a week leading up to May 23rd, which is our last Wednesday morning report on Best Kept Secrets. Uh, so, again, uh, the next couple weeks, enter your chance to win that giveaway, getaway. Mm -hmm. Just a wonderful, yeah. wonderful little town. The next week, our next South Carolina hidden treasure is a town in the upstate. And you're going to be asking yourself, how did that town get its name? Mm. Only tip I'm going to give you. Yeah, the only watch trivia. and see. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us.